Welcome, thanks for joining me for my stay at home workout. Today is upper body push day. So that means uh, we're gonna be prioritizing uh, that push movement pattern. So we're gonna do some uh, push up variations for that. Then we're gonna work into some uh, goblet style reverse lunges. Then I'm uh, gonna hit some three point rows. And uh, lastly, we're gonna do some hamstring curls. Okay, so uh, before I get any of, into any of that, though, I'll just show you what equipment I've got for today. Very little, actually. Got my mat here, <clears throat> my 10 pound ball, my weight. You can use a dumbbell, kettlebell, uh, any kind of household object really that works. Anything uh, is fine. And then I'm actually just gonna use this uh, platform too a little bit later on. Uh, and that's it. So uh, before we get into the uh, main resistance exercises, though, I'll always start, of course, with a little bit of core bracing. So two core bracing exercises today. One of them is going to be Russian twists, and the other one is going to be uh, ankle touches. So uh, fairly difficult uh, exercises uh, compared to the core bracing stuff I normally do. A little bit of a cardio element involved with each. I uh, often use them for uh, warm-ups uh, and uh, finishers in boxing class. Uh, it doesn't have to be that intense though, so don't worry. Uh, the Russian twist we're going to start with, basically you're sitting back on your butt. You can do this with heels down, or you can do it with heels elevated, like so, in which case you keep your heels up the whole time. A little bit harder with the heels up. From here, we're going to twist. Twisting at the trunk with the weight. If you don't have a weight, just make a weight with your fist. That's totally cool. Notice how I'm actually twisting, and my shoulders and chest are actually turning. So I'm not reaching while looking ahead. I'm actually turning the whole time. You can do 20 or uh, 10 per side, and you can keep heels up, heels down, whatever you like. Keep the core super tight the whole time. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right? And then we're going to do some ankle touches. So, ankle touches, you're going to get flat on your back here, and you're going to Raise your legs up in the air like so. You're gonna have your hands up by your face as if you were boxing. And then you're actually gonna do a little crunch, a little upper uh, upper torso crunch kind of thing, just like that. Then you're gonna reach and touch the outside of that opposite ankle. So that's the idea there. Once again, it's gonna be uh, 20 total or 10 per side. All right? You wanna watch that you're not cranking the neck the whole time. You wanna try to crunch, just like a little crunch with that whole upper part of uh, the torso there. So you want that crunch to come from here, not from here, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Little breather, and then we'll go back through both of those one more time. After that, we'll have a nice 360 degree bracing around that spine. We're hitting the obliques, of course, with those rotational movements, and uh, we're hitting the abdominals with uh, those crunches, too. Also getting a little bit of a shoulder blade protraction there with that reach, which is a nice bonus. Okay, so if you tried it with heels down last time, it was kind of easy. Try to elevate the heels this time, if you like. Uh, when you got your legs up in the air, you do want to keep them as quiet as possible, so try to stop them from swaying side to side. It's not going to be perfect. But uh, do your best there. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And I'm gonna shift into these ankle touches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You may not actually be able to reach up and touch that ankle, not yet, uh, maybe, or maybe never, just based on the length of your limbs. And that's totally fine. The idea is that you're crunching and reaching. If you don't quite make it, that's cool. I've got long arms, so I can do it, but not everybody has the same proportions. Okay, so the four exercises, once again, we are prioritizing upper body push, so I'm gonna put that at the top of the four. I'm gonna treat all four like a superset. I'm gonna do 10 reps, take a little of each. I'll take a little break at the end of the superset, and we'll do that whole thing three times. I'm gonna keep it going fairly quick, uh, just to work the cardio in there. 
And uh, this first set will be a little bit slower just as I explain things, but then we'll pick up the pace. Okay, so push-up variations. I'm actually gonna do hands elevated push-ups to this couch. So if you wanna do the same, you're gonna find an elevated surface. Couch will work, of course, a bed, bench, anything that's stable that's not gonna move on you. So this is push-up against the wall. Normally I do some pretty crazy difficult push-up variations, but this is my first week back recovering from a little bit of shoulder pain. Minor, but uh, still wanna sort of ease into things. And uh, I hope if you're experiencing any sort of injury, if you're rehabbing from anything, that you would do uh, the same. Okay, so you're gonna unfortunately have to see this one from the back. But basically here, how I'm gonna get set up with this push-up is my upper arm is gonna be about a 45 degree angle to my torso. So I'm not out here, and I'm not really tucked in like this. It's more of a tricep dominant push-up. This is more shoulder dominant. I wanna keep it uh, above the chest, primarily. Okay, I'm gonna be a nice straight line from the bottom of my feet to the top of my head. I'm not gonna let my head droop. I'm gonna keep my core nice and tight the whole time. I'm gonna pull myself down, like draw myself down, keeping the lats tight to that couch, and then hopefully my chest will actually hit it or at least get close, and then I'm gonna press through the heels of my palms to a uh, full top uh, push-up position, okay? So the shoulder blades are gonna protract forward. All right, so I get set up here, nice and tight. Got my lats nice and tight. I'm sort of screwing the base of my palms into that surface. I'm drawing myself down. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you've always had difficulty with push-ups, I don't think there's any better way to work up to doing a full classic push-up than by doing hands elevated push-ups. And based on the elevation, it's gonna be easier the higher that surface is, right? And you can just work down little by little until you get to the floor. Okay, let's do some goblet style reverse lunges. So goblet style, gonna hold the weight like so. My elbows are tucked into my sides. I'm gonna start nice and tall. I'm gonna try to avoid being blinded by this skylight beam, okay? I'm gonna keep my core super tight from here. I'm stepping back into a lunge. Sort of looks like a split squat, right? You see uh, I'm kind of up on the big toe of that back foot, but I'm keeping my front foot flat. Driving through the heel, but I'm also keeping the big toe and a little toe on that front foot, clamping down for balance. Keep the core nice and tight. We're gonna do 10 per side here, okay? One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switching legs. Take a moment to orient yourself there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, ooh, my legs feel like jelly from yesterday. All right, we've got three point rows. So three points just means three points of contact with the ground, okay? So my legs are two points and one arm on this right surface here. You can use a bench. Usually that's what I would do if I were in a gym, anything like that. Once again, I could use the couch. I'm really reaching forward with this arm, letting that shoulder blade protract forward. And then from this hand, I've got my weight, whatever it may be, I'm gonna use the ball and I'm just squeezing that elbow into the side, okay? So this shoulder blade stays in a nice packed position. I'm not gonna let it go all the way down here. I'm also not gonna crank it all the way up here. I'm gonna keep that range of motion nice and controlled. Okay, core's tight, spine's neutral. No big deal about that stuff, okay? The hardest part is holding on to this thing. It's a nice little grip strength challenge. All right, we're gonna do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's gonna fall, ah. eight, nine, ten. I had my orientation a little mixed up there. It's actually much more convenient if you keep this leg back. It's got a little scrambled. Okay, I'm gonna do another 10 here once I hold on to this thing. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
We'll call that 10. <laughs> All right, and fourthly, we've got our hamstring curls, which is sort of like our hip hinge uh, movement for today. It's not really a hip hinge, but it is working uh, the same muscle groups, uh, the hamstrings specifically, and the glutes that the hip hinge would normally work. And yesterday was hinge day, so that's why this is the fourth exercise and uh, the lightest of the four. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, it's gonna be lying hamstring curls. So you're gonna lie on your front. You don't want your head to touch the ground, which is probably a good idea. You're gonna make a little cushion with your hands and rest your forehead on that. You're gonna keep the core like stuck to the ground, of course. You're not gonna be doing this stuff. And it's important to keep the hips down too, because if the hips come up, once again, we get, see that arching in the spine there. We don't want that. All right, now, if you've got a dumbbell, it's gonna be much easier. You're gonna lock the handle of the dumbbell between your ankles. If you're working with a ball like me, it's a little bit tougher. You gotta clamp that thing the whole time. It helps to point the toes up towards the top of the foot for a little bit of added tightness there, okay? So you're gonna get set up there. Basically, what you're gonna be doing is curling up like so, a little bit of a squeeze of the glutes at the top. Staying tight, keeping those hips down for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. A little breather. Gonna hit those four exercises again. Ten reps of each. Two more big sets like that. Yeah, I am feeling those glute bridges from yesterday, for sure. Okay, gonna do another set of the hands elevated for my third. I think I might go from the floor, but I am gonna work up slowly. Sometimes that can be a little frustrating if you're used to intense exercise, if you're a really sort of committed uh, exerciser or athlete even, but it is the smart way to do it. <laughs> Baby steps, for sure. Okay, so exact same setup as last time. Remember when you approach that surface, even if it's the floor, you're keeping that 45 degree angle with that upper arm. And what I mean by tightening those lats up is sort of when you press the base of your palms into that surface, you kind of do a little screw motion, sort of tighten those lats up. You can feel that tightness in here. And that is gonna keep you solid on the way down. You wanna think like you're pulling yourself down with nice tight lats and you're pushing yourself up. It's gonna keep that nice solid uh, form throughout your core, okay? Which is what you want. All right, core nice and tight, pulling myself down, push up, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, I'm gonna jump right into those. What are they? Reverse lunges. That's right. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got itchy like halfway through that. Okay. Switching legs here. If one leg feels a little weaker or just less stable than the other, it's totally normal. This is the bad one for me, so I'm always a little bit shakier, especially when we pick up the pace. But that's part of the challenge. There's a coordination element too, right? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. See what I mean? Seven, eight, nine. And 10. Three point rows. All right, to get set up properly this time, it's gonna be like this, not like this. Just get in your own way then, which I stupidly did last time. Okay, reaching for the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's falling. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. All right. Same thing on the other side. Just gonna move slightly over this way. All right. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. Frustrated. Who? Me? I'm not frustrated. What? Okay, let's do some hamstring curls. Gonna clamp those ankles, all right? A little bit of adduction in there, sort of. Gonna cushion that head, point those toes, nice solid 10. That's one, keep those hips down. Two, squeeze the glutes at the top. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. A little breather, then we'll go through that one more time. You, of course, can pace yourself as you will. I am trying to keep the pace pretty snappy here, uh, but I don't want you to be exhausted or gasping for breath. Definitely the heart rate elevated, that's cool. But you know, monitor your fatigue, monitor your energy levels. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can always hit the pause button, you know? It's no big deal. Don't have to go at the same pace. Okay, so for the final set of push-ups, I'm gonna just try them from the ground here. And uh, we'll see how I feel about that tomorrow, because that's when I'll know. Uh, and then we're gonna keep the goblet reverse lunges and the uh, rows and the hamstring curls just the same, all right? That's gonna be it for today, folks. So this is the last set. Don't leave anything out there. Okay. So once again, got my nice little, Jesus. I got my nice little setup here. I gotta keep my core nice and tight, right? I'm gonna screw the base of the palms into the ground, like so. All right. A nice straight line through the top of my head, draw myself down. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, well, that felt good in the moment, but tomorrow is the test. <clears throat> Stay nice and tight on these lunges, all right? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, switching it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Normally I alternate legs for the final set, but these tight glutes are not up for that today. All right, one more time versus the demon ball from hell. It's the perils of having small hands. Okay, are they reaching for the ground? One, nope. Now we're gonna go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now let's finish off with those hamstring curls. Stay tight, keep those hips down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. 
Wow, that was a bit of a struggle today. Okay, sometimes it is though, that's just how it goes, right? Anyway, that's it for today. No finisher today, folks, but there will uh, likely be one tomorrow, and then the day after that is the core blast day, so that just feels like five finishers in a row. But uh, anyway, till tomorrow, take it easy, bone roll, cool down, get your protein, all that. Take care.